Well, hi everybody. Once again, it's Monday night highlight time, and on Saturday night it was a turn of Telford Tigers to visit the Milton Keynes Arena. Remembrance weekend, of course, which meant that the Milton Keynes hockey family once again come together to commemorate those who've served our country, some of which have paid the ultimate price. And the team, of course, wearing these one-off Remembers jerseys sponsored by our own and lone fans. Thank you very much for that. Let's go and check out what happened before the game and let's have a look at the action. So we've got Marine, Marine Cadet and we'll have a singer of the National Anthem. And we'll have a ceremonial puck drop. The 11th of November yesterday of course. Remembered at 11 o'clock. Remembrance Sunday taking place tomorrow. Remembrance events up and down the country at various sports taking place over the weekend. Thank you.
absolutely impeccably observed. Two minutes silence, of course, and a brilliantly sung national anthem as well. So here we go. Ready for the first face-off of the game. Ewing gets ready to drop the puck. Mackenzie against Stewart in the opening face-off. NIHL action. Here we go. Let's play hockey. Straight away, Telford in possession, sifting it over to the left-hand side. Mackenzie just farms it over to the left, just in front of the, uh, the blue line. Headley gets the first stick on it of the game. Jack Hopkins down in the corner against his former team. That's going to be an interesting battle tonight, scoring so many goals last season for Telford, Jack Hopkins. So, first face-off of the game. Lightning on the power play within the first minute and a half. What can they get going? Wallace down for the face-off. Up against uh, Silverthorne, I think it was. Lightning in close. Good work by Day down close there. Penalty called. Goodison called for tripping. First shot of the game goes in, and it's Norris! Straight away, Lightning open their account. Power play goal, of course, that'll bring Telford back to full strength. And Norris makes Telford pay straight away. Lightning one goal to the good. Just under seven minutes remaining in this first period. Time's flying by. End to end stuff, as I said before. Plant now. Right hand side in front of the Lightning bench gives it to Silverthorne. Now's an opportunity, McKenzie tries to go far side, that's a great goal, and it's Luca appearing on the back door. That's a power play goal, of course. That'll put Lightning back to full strength, evens things up with 6.40 to go. Good movement that time round from Telford. They're always going to threaten with experience like that. There was Silverthorne, McKenzie, just backhand there, and an easy backhand for Luca as Hendy was Transitioning from left to right. Now there's an opportunity for Telford to break and it's fired down into the corner so the team in orange can get a change on. Hopkins this time round takes a seat under a challenge. Some good hits gone in this first period. Nice, fair. Sarkanis tries to Get away from his man. Trailing stick was in there. So the, uh, the Latvian couldn't do anything about that, but now he can maybe. Sarkanis goes low on. Grab day. And Sarkanis gives Lightning the lead. 4 10 to go. In the first period. And David Sarkanis. Straight in there. Couldn't get the tip a minute ago, but he picks up the, the puck on his blue line. Everybody else is looking for the pass. Sarkanis, no, no, you know, goes down low on Brad Day. It's 2 1 Lightning, 4 10 to go. Telford looked to clear up again. Harewood gets dispossessed by Grinnell Park. Grinnell Park's got picked up a stick in the face there. The arm goes straight up. Everybody stopped playing for a second there, but Headley will go to the bench. Grinnell Park. I think the puck, I don't think it was intentional, but the stick definitely rode up. With a penalty coming on the plate. Nags. Lightning, of course, with the extra player, and the whistle will go. And Lightning will go back on the power plate. 2.26 to go, high stick call. And we'll have another quick look at that. I think it was Harewood with the uh, with the high stick. It looks like uh, minimal contact in the centre. Grinnell parking, yeah, wasn't intentional, but the the, uh, the stick did ride up. Caught Grinnell Park in the face. Lightning looked to come again. Stewart, nice play to Wallace, right hand side. Wallace looking for gaps. Talbot with the shot into the leg there of Rhodes Mitchell King. Stewart again. Wallace, Norris, under a minute and a half to go in the period, under a minute to go on this penalty. Wallace, 
this time to Norris, which is sides. Norris, Sarkanis, tries to just get it through the gaps. Telford closing those gaps down really well. Wallace again, another shot comes in, goes wide this time round. Minute to go in this final period. 30 seconds to go on the Lightning power play. One for two so far. Goes wide again. It's all pressure from Lightning so far. And Telford are doing well to stay in this game. Another shot comes in. Sarkanis, 10 seconds remaining on the penalty. What could Sarkanis get going? Wallace now, traffic in front of Day. Another good save from Day. Telford back to full strength. Got a shot comes in. Liam Stewart, I didn't think he saw that. He had a, the goal to shoot out then. Norris again, not a shot on Brad Day. Good save there, 15 seconds to go to the end of this first period. Absolutely flown by, end to end stuff. Sarkanis again, could be a penalty coming on the play, there's not though, five seconds to go. And the, the buzzer will go at the end of this period, and that's been end-to-end -end stuff at the end of that first 20 minutes. It's the All-In Black Milton Keys Lightning 2, Telford Tigers 1. So referee Brooks has the puck in hand to get this second period started, Liam Stewart ready to go. And it'll be the venerable Scott McKenzie he faces up against for this first draw of this second 20 minute period the puck drops and Stewart wins that one back to Nags Stewart got a touch on that goes down into the corner Mitchell King will follow it down and Sarkanis is getting there early couldn't quite drop it down to the point man but Stewart got a stick in there early McKenzie picks up the loose change in the neutral zone opportunity now Goodison that is Headley tested early doors in this first period but now the puck will break Sarkanis Good vision there, another shot comes in and good block there. I think that was Mitchell King blocking that. Take it almost straight offside. Stewart now. Shot goes wide, thrown out front again. Day Johnny on the spot there from Chamberlain. Good effort that from Bobby Chamberlain because he saw the potential gap there. Similar to the goal that Lightning conceded last week actually. So Sarkanis will chase that down into the corner, he'll get there before Rose. Rose just trying to shepherd his man wide. Sarkanis now, what can he get going for Lightning? Talbot lending support. Nicely dropped down low that, and Day covers up once again as Sarkanis looks to follow up. 13 24 to go. DJ plays hot legs in his. Ironic that Rod Stewart is sat down below the gantry tonight. Shot in again on Day. Good save that from the Telford netminder. Another good save just in front of the net. Telford protecting the house really well. Green. Shuffles it nicely forward. It was Talbot who got the shot away, but it's uh, into the stick of Sam Watkins. Green again. Looks to throw something out front, another shot in. Day this time with a left pad save. Seven minutes gone in this second period. Both teams absolutely going for it in this game. Wallace, good recovery that from Tim Wallace. Good recycling of the puck. Russell. Wallace has got his team really cycling this puck well. Good save again from Day. That was Talbot that time on the near post. Green, let's go line in the fans charm. Trying to Double this lead. Green again. Good work that from Ross Green. This time round it's turned over and it's Mitchell King who cleaned it. But only as far as Sam Russell. Norris. Norris with a shot. Goes wide. Another shot in near post. Day will cover up this time round. 12-19 to go. A good bit of it. Exercise for Brad Day there in the uh, in the Telford net. Keeping Day busy down there. Oh why, but they having to be on the spot there from Chamberlain. Good save that. Telford looking to clear once again. What can they get going now? Harewood, has got Silverthorne for support. Another shot in, good save by Headley, another good save by Headley. 
and it was followed up. The shot came in, followed up by Rick Plant. Good work from Max Stewart. 15 seconds remaining now. Frustration down the line in bench. They think they should be another goal up. But for Brad Day in that Telford goal, five seconds remaining. The buzzer will go as the puck is trapped behind the Telford goal. And as the buzzer goes, nothing doing in that period. The score remains. The All-In Black Milton Keys lining two. Telford Tigers won. Stewart and McKenzie ready to opening face of his final period. Hewitt with the puck in hand and here we go again. Good as it was who benefited from the Telford win on the draw and Telford in possession but he pushed it down into the corner and it'll be a black shirt of Ed Nags that gets there first. Lightning of course wearing their one-off Remembrance jerseys this evening. Remember it's Sunday tomorrow. James Griffin pushes it all the way around the boards. Sarkanis just pushes it back so Hopkins can just pick up the puck and Stewart circling around, Liam Stewart that is. Sarkanis, opportunity goes wide to the right hand side of the goal occupied by Brad Day. Norris, looking for options, got it in the form of Talbot, Talbot with the shot. Wallace, switches sides, good switch out from Tim Wallace. Christie, fans on the shot. Not called offside. Puck stayed in the zone, throwing out front again, another shot comes in! Sam Talbot, 17.59 to go! Mill Keys lining three, Telford Tigers one! Good patient build up that from Lightning! Thrown out front, Sam Talbot with the opportunity, just buries it, gets past Brad Day. Opens up a bit of dead daylight early in this third period. Max Stewart, Jameson almost got away from Corey Goodison then. Lovely move from Jameson, just couldn't quite keep it on his stick tape. Max Stewart in the centre, forces the save from Day. Bounce Garner, oh, the whistle had gone. The whistle had gone before the puck went in. It's going to be no goal, goal referee Brooks waves it off and you can boo as much as you want. That whistle had gone ages before the puck crossed the line. Have a quick look at the uh, replay. So we can see it. David, the original save. Barnes Garner. Well, the whistle had definitely gone before the puck hit the back of the net. Griffin. Finally turning into a, a very, very good two way team this season. Sarkanis. Gives it to McKenzie, drops it to Field, drops it in in the middle, and uh, Sarkanis couldn't get anything on it. Goes wide, and that's another goal! And that looks like Callum Field, 10.55 to go. It's 4 1. It looked like it was a dodgy bounce off the boards, but it's Callum Field who was there. Sarkanis picked it up. Just Binned it round the boards. It took a weird bounce and Field was there. And that's a great goal for Callum Field. 18 year old from Northampton. Having a great season. In plenty of ice time, scoring plenty of goals. 10.54, it's 4-1 Lightning. Green. Gives it to Barnes Garner. Gives it to Jameson. Max Stewart in the centre, Stewart now with an opportunity, good save by Day, covers up the rebound, 9.24 to go. And now we've dropped some gloves. Well, Max Stewart is going to pick up a misconduct call there. I don't know what Max Stewart's uh, saying to the refs, but... Uh, I think he might have picked up a knock actually in the face. Uh, the boos ring out once again. So we've got some blood on the ice. It looks like uh, Max Stewart was cut. 
Sarkanis to Liam Stewart. Liam Stewart back onto the blue line to his captain, Christie. Christie with Martelli as his defensive partner in this shift. Liam Stewart gives it to Hopkins, shot wide. Day almost came off the back of the Telford netminder and the whistle goes as Day covers up. 5.52 to go. Price shoots through traffic. Headley will cover up once again. Luke Price was there as well. So it was Jake Price with the shot. Luke Price tried to pick up the rebound. 15 seconds remaining. Ben Russell down in the corner. He's had a great game tonight, Ben Russell. Another shot comes in, goes wide. Penalty coming on the play that time round. Arm stays up. 2.9 seconds to go. There's a cross-check call. A penalty called on Bobby Chamberlain. Other than that, it's been a penalty-free game, all in all. Four penalties, five penalties, beg your pardon, on Lightning. And two... Telford. Puck drops. Whistle goes, the buzzer goes, that's the end of the game. And at the end of the 60 minutes, it's the all in black Milton Keynes Lightning for Telford Tigers 1. Lightning, great value for the win there. Good all round team performance. Great game to watch. So a cracking game, of course, and a great scoreline for Lightning. And after the game, we caught up with Joe Wilson and Sam Talbot. Sam, after last week's great result against Leeds, I mean, Telford coming into the ring tonight was always going to be a tough ask. And at times, that was clinical from you guys tonight. Yeah, I mean, we had to learn to kind of string some results together. We've been a bit inconsistent. Good win here, bad win there, but, or bad loss there, sorry. But, I mean, the puck was bouncing around first period, but I think we found a way, stuck together. That's what good teams do. So the points matter at the end of the year. First couple of periods, it looked like a bit of a battle between the netminers. Brad Day was having a great day, great day in you know Telford's goal, and obviously yeah. Jordan was coming up trying for lightning as well. But it was real end-to-end -end stuff, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. You know, they're always tough, Telford. You can never write them off. They're well drilled, good team, and their goalie always keeps them in the game. So it was, it was, he made our life hard tonight, but we found a way. So got Bobby Chamberlain back in the squad after last week, after sitting out last weekend. Back with um, back with you and Sean Norris. I mean, obviously you you know. Yeah. So you had last season with him as well. You've got such a great understanding between the three of you now. Yeah, when we get on, it just clicks, kind of thing. I mean, we work quite well together. Don't even have to really talk about anything. Just get on and just play, really. So it's quite good. Got to go down the road tomorrow to Raiders. Hopefully you get a result down there. You're up against your old mate Adam yeah. Lace from down there. He's you know, banging in goals for fun. But next weekend, you've got a tough old weekend, haven't you? You've got Basingstoke away on the Friday. Yeah. Uh, Raiders here. And then your long trip to Hull. Yeah, I mean, the boys are going to have to dig deep. Free game weekend. But sure, we'll find a way. So as I said, keep stringing those outs together and we'll end up in the right place at the end of the year. Brilliant. Well, listen, Sam, go well tomorrow. Thank Thanks you, very mate. much for talking Take to care. us. Take care. Joe, I was just talking to Sam Talbot then about the, the result tonight. And on the back of the great result against Leeds last week, but obviously you've still got results to get. Telford coming into your barn tonight was going to be a tough ask, wasn't it? Yeah, it feels like every game at the minute is a test for us, but we're definitely rising to the occasion and... Tonight was a, a big ass to get two points and I felt we dominated from first puck to the last puck. We gave them nothing, five on five, we gave them absolutely nothing and that's the style we want to play week in, week out. There were periods during that game tonight where it looked as if you could have been watching, no discredit to Telford, but it could have been watching a training session because some of Lightning's passing and movement was so clinical at times. It was just, it was, it was brilliant to watch. Yeah, we've been working on that sort of stuff for the past few weeks. It's really nice to see that come to fruition in the game. And like I said, Telford are no easy team. They're no pushovers. They're league winners for the past two seasons. Yeah. So to come here and, and us play the way we did and close them down is a big, big achievement for the club. End-to-end -end stuff in the first two periods, wasn't it? You know, Brad Day had a great game in goal. He picked up the man of the match for Telford, you know, obviously deserved. But Jordan Headley as well, you know, pulled off some pretty good saves as well. It, it, it really starts to become tailored to netminers at times, doesn't it, in this league? Yeah, it does. There's a lot of good goals in this league and Heads played really well in there and Day played really well and I think it just came down to we were more clinical and we had a good D zone, more clinical in front and that's what won us the game. David Sarkanis with the man of the match tonight. 
you can see the guys are telling him to go and celebrate. I'm not entirely sure he hasn't quite got the hang of that post-game celebration yet, has he? Not quite, no, but I think he's picking up enough man of the matches at the minute to maybe get the hang of that. Uh, Raiders away tomorrow. Tough home, you know, tough away trip, of course, because, you know, no one's any mugs in this league, are they? They're all tough games, and Raiders in particular is a tough barn to go into right now. And they've got to come back here next Saturday as well. Yeah, Romford's been a tough barn to go into since Romford built a barn. Uh, Sean's a very good coach there. He's very technical, a bit like Tim, and so it's going to be a good battle. He's built a good team this year, and he, he, they are winning some games. They're picking up points against big teams. We have to go there. We have to be ready to play. We have to just go play our way, keep the style we played today, and hopefully get two points. Brilliant. Well, listen, Joe, as always, thanks very much for speaking to us. Do appreciate it. Go well in Romford tomorrow. See you soon. Thank you. So once again, as normal, many thanks to the guys for taking the time to come and chat to us after the game. But don't forget, next week, Saturday night here at the Milton Keynes Arena, NIHL action once again. The Raiders are in town. It's a 7 o'clock face-off. You can get more information, of course, from the Lightning website and keep your eye out on Lightning's social media during the week. See you soon. <laughs>